In this video, we'll show you how you can apply effects to selected areas of your image. There are two ways that you can apply an effect to a selected area. The first way you can do this is to browse through the effects and then use the mask tool to select an area. The second approach is to select the area first and then browse the effects gallery. So, to start, we'll show you how to browse and then mask out an area. With this image, we want to apply a black and white effect to the background, but leave the bus red. The first thing to do is to select one of the black and white effects. The next step is to choose the option Add to Selection and paint around the outside of the bus. When you're finished, click on the paint bucket to fill in the rest of the background. To refine your selection, you can adjust the size and style of the brush. You can also choose how to display your selection for more accurate results. Now, we're going to show you how to select an area first and then choose an effect for your photo. We want to replace the sky with something a bit more interesting. The first step is to click on Select Area. We then need to tell the software what type of area we are working on. So for this image, we need to select Sky. Next, use the brush tool to paint over the sky. Once you've finished, click on Confirm Selection and Browse Effects. You can then browse all of the effects that have been specifically designed to work on areas of sky. Once you've found an effect you like, click on OK to confirm and continue working on the rest of your image. In our next video, we'll show you how to use Smart Photo Editor Layers.